Hi guys! So I've been filming for like two minutes now and I haven't actually said anything because I don't really know what to say. Uh yeah, as you might be able to tell, there's something a little bit different about me and yes, I am wearing a Christmas jumper. I'm just kidding. I have new hair and yeah, I know a lot of you guys probably aren't going to like it, which is fine. A lot of you guys probably will like it, which is also fine. Um, but basically, I'm going to explain the story of how I got this kind of white hair. And you probably can't actually tell right now because of the camera. Like, for some reason it looks longer on camera, it looks shorter in real life. But I did actually get about four inches chopped off of it as well. At one point it was down to my belly button and then I got it a couple of inches like trimmed off um, a while back and then it was kind of like between my boobs and my belly button and now it's just kind of here. For kind of like the past year or two I've wanted my hair to be like platinum blonde so that I could do pastel colours and so at the beginning of the summer if you guys remember if you watch my videos I attempted to bleach my hair myself which did work, um, it damaged my hair quite a lot and from doing that I kind of did it in a kind of balayage style which wasn't really balayage at all but I kind of put it all over the ends of my hair and then just did some kind of stripes along the top part so when it grew out it wasn't kind of as noticeable with the roots and everything um, but I didn't get it to the kind of desired blondness as I wanted. It was still very yellow as you guys will see if you check back my older videos from the summer and I then decided to dye the ends purple or lilac and then I went turquoise and going turquoise was the biggest mistake because it literally did not wash out of my hair ever. You guys probably can't tell in my previous videos because the ends of my hair were often like off camera and sometimes I kind of dyed pink over it and I dyed purple over it but whenever the pink and purple washed out because they wash out really easily there was still a green stain on the ends of my hair and it just would not go away and it was really annoying me to be honest because whenever the purple or pink washed out of my hair it would look a kind of dodgy like like murky greeny gray bluey kind of color and it just looked really odd I mean I have no problem with green hair but on me like I just don't think it looked nice like it wasn't a pretty green color so I actually did like two bleach baths myself to try and get it out and it did lighten the green but it just never came out and so I'd damaged my hair so much from like trying to bleach it out I just thought that I would try again but I didn't want my hair to like completely break off and also my roots were starting to really annoy me because they'd grown out quite a lot and the bits kind of around my ears were really noticeable and yeah my roots were just kind of bugging me so I thought that this time I would go to a professional to get my hair done and spend some money on it so I kind of saved up a bit of my money and I went to a local hair salon which I researched and I found they did Olaplex and I only wanted to bleach my hair again if I used Olaplex because I've heard so much about it and it's literally like, it's really popular in America but we don't have it that much in the UK and if you guys don't know what Olaplex is, research it, there's loads of information online but basically it kind of prevents your hair from getting super damaged when you bleach it and it kind of like reconstructs the kind of bonds in your hair, I don't even know. There's some crazy science behind it. And I went in with the intention of getting highlights in my roots and kind of bleaching the rest of my hair to kind of get the green out. But I still wanted a bit of my natural colour there so that it would match my eyebrows and that it would grow out a lot easier rather than just like a kind of line of roots. So <laughs> unfortunately they said they couldn't do that because my hair was so uneven from when I bleached it myself. It was kind of like there was a bit of roots and it was all kind of like this, it was all kind of like zigzaggy and there was a bit of root and then there'd be a bit of kind of orangey or yellowiness and then the ends were like super super blonde. So they basically said that in order for me to kind of get nice looking hair, I would need to bleach all of it again, so I bleach my roots and then the next time I go back, when my roots are grown out a bit, they can then do the highlights to kind of blend it in a bit. And so I just kind of thought, okay, like whatever, they are the professional, I'm going to take your advice. And yeah, so I was just like, cool, fine by me, just go for it. Um, so what they did first is they put bleach all over my roots and they mix in the Olaplex with all my colours and everything. Um, so they put bleach on my roots and left me for like half an hour or something. Um, and then when they came back, my roots had fully lightened because my hair is like 
quite light naturally. And then they put it kind of on the mid band, I think they called it, of my hair, where I had, it was mostly kind of underneath. I had quite a lot of like oranginess and then they came back again after leaving me for a while and then they put a very weak percentage of bleach all through the ends of my hair to try and get the green out um, and then they left me again and then I went to go have it all washed out and the rest of my hair was kind of white slash yellow and my green ends had not come out. They had lightened a bit, but they were still there, so my hair was basically like yellow and green. So they then said they could either bleach bath it again, which would be more damaging, and use a higher percentage of bleach, um, or they could just leave it, or they could cut it out. And so I kind of said that I would leave it for now, because I didn't want to damage my hair anymore, because I feel like my hair was damaged enough. So then I went to get the toner put on, and I said that I didn't want any golden tones in my hair, because I kind of wanted it to be like silvery white. Um, and they put the toner on, but they only left it on for five minutes and then my roots kind of went like lilac and the rest of my hair was kind of like white and then yellow so and then green at the bottom so it was all a bit kind of interesting colors but in all fairness to them I did say that I wanted platinum blonde hair and I wanted it to be light enough to put pastel colors over and that is what they did for me so I came out of the salon and I cried when I got home and I was really embarrassed to show people because I thought I looked really creepy because my roots didn't match my eyebrows and I was just kind of like, I look like Draco Malfoy right now, like I literally look like Draco Malfoy. And I wore a hat for three days until I could get something to tone it myself and I tried various things and in the end I'm gonna make a video about how I toned it to get this kind of whitey silver colour and yeah that fixed my hair and so I managed to tone it myself to this colour which I'm happy with. It's kind of what I wanted in the first place, like it's kind of like whitey silver, I'm not sure how it's coming up on camera. And then I went to my usual hairdressers where I normally get it cut and I just said to kind of chop off the green bits. So I had about 4 inches chopped off my hair and the very ends of these are still slightly green I think, um, you can kind of tell, like yeah. There's still a little bit of green in here, but it was nowhere near as bad as it was like when I had it done before. But if you guys want to see pictures of like the whole process, before I had it done, after I came out the salon, after the first time of trying to tone it, after the second time of trying to tone it, um, they will all be in a video of kind of how to get silver, white, platinum hair, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, using Olaplex, like my hair feels so much nice. Even before I got it cut, my hair felt so much nicer after having the Olaplex done than it did before I bleached it and I just had bleach all over my head but when I came out it was so shiny so soft I could like run my fingers through it and I was literally amazed. Uh, a piece of advice I would give is don't dye the ends of your hair turquoise if you are planning on it washing out. Um, I think it might be because I did the turquoise dip dye kind of two or three times so it kind of like built up if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of my hair down below. Oh, also guys, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. Like, I just, I cannot believe, like, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, 10,000 people, 10,000 people are subscribed to my channel. Like, I don't even know what 10,000 people looks like, but I know that is a lot of people. Well, to me, anyway, that's a lot of people. I know to like quite a few other big YouTubers, that is nothing, but to me, that is amazing. So, thank you guys so much for subscribing, if you are, and if you aren't already subscribed, then just press the little button down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!